Alright folks, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain adventure. It's a bit of a late one tonight, I'm late at the party. Uh, but I've headed west, I'm over in Galloway Forest Park. Uh, losing light rapidly. Uh, there's been howling winds and it's been chucking it down with rain. Um, so I've kind of held off as long as possible. Uh, and I've been looking for a secluded place to get pitched up. The forest behind us here is about as good as it's going to get. So this is going to be home for tonight. Um, I'll swing you around so you can see basically what we're dealing with here. There's going to be a bit of a stealth one as well. Now, although the local council are kind of all right with wild campers as long as everyone's respectful, which of course we are in the majority of cases, um, this is right next to a road and it does potentially look like a, maybe it's not a private woodland, but it is very, very close to the, the main road. Um, so this is going to be somewhat stealthy as well. Let's go and have a look. Right, this is us. Just clamber through the undergrowth a little bit. Nice flat bit here, half protected by this tree. This could do. Yeah, I think this is the spot. Uh, the rain's really starting to come down now as well, so I'm going to waste no time. Let's get this tent put up. guys that was it that's the tent up took some doing the winds gusts of wind uh, and it's pitch black and I'm right next to the road as well so trying to keep it stealth uh, but it's up when we're done and dusted so I'm just gonna get my gear into the tent and let's get myself all set up and get cozy and warm and we'll get a brew on the go that's certainly the first port of call Fantastic, that's everything set up now. Uh, we've got the sleep system in, we've got the food all packed away, we've got the lantern on. Uh, the wind is howling, but uh, this is um, proven to be a very, very good spot. Uh, I am remaining as stealthy as possible, because like I said, we are right next to the road. But although you can see the tents moving a little bit, actually you can hear the wind, uh, which is bellowing um, up in the tree canopies uh, there, but we're under really the majority of it which is great i was going to knock up a, um a cup of tea first but you know what i think it's an ipa time so cheers folks oh listen to that that's a good one ah brilliant goose island ipa that's a really good one that i don't know what the power is on it Four points to make, I think. It's a nice one. So it's um it's really really good to get out, get out into nature, get a reset. I was in two minds about tonight, uh, just given the weather, really the weather forecast. But I'm so pleased that I've come out, and I'm pleased I found this spot. I did go up to um uh, the lock just a little bit further up, but the wind was absolutely howling. Uh, it was ridiculous, uh, and I thought right, I'll maybe do a car camp, uh, but in the end decided. No, I want to get the tent, I just need to find the right spot. So a little bit of perseverance um, and thinking about, you know, which direction the wind's coming and where to hunk it down and it's paid dividends. Ah, fantastic, really good. Yeah, so just a little bit of um, hunkering down in this little woodland. 
I'm going to enjoy some tea. I've got a little bit of a dilemma about tea. I'll come on to that a little bit later on. Stick with us. Um, I've actually got three options and a couple of options for breakfast as well. I think I might have done a little bit of overkill here. I've got the firebox as well. I'm in a little bit of a woodland here, but there is some stones and some big rocks. And what I do is I can have the firebox just keeps the fire nice and contained, nice and controlled. So I'll maybe just be able to get a little bit of a fire and it'll leave no scorch marks at all. I'll see how that goes a little bit later as well. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, folks, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna enjoy this. This is well deserved. This one, and uh, I've got another another couple. Nothing too mental, of course. Uh, you have got to keep your wits about you, haven't you? Um, but I, I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, yeah, we'll come back for a bit. Natter, when I'm getting dinner on the go. Oh, rain's died down a bit now. It's been absolutely lashing down for the past hour and a half, maybe. Uh, maybe it's even a little bit longer. Wind's been uh, really getting up. Anyway, the wind's died down. The rain stopped. Uh, so perfect, uh, perfect time to have a big crack. I have, um, I've got a few options for tea, um, and it's I, just, I don't know, I don't know what I have to be honest. I've got the uh, the Wayfarers um, Korean style beef. Um, I haven't had that one before. Uh, Korean style beef and rice. Uh, that's a boiling Wayfarer, boiling the bag. Really, really good. Um, we'll give. I think I maybe just give that one a go because they're nice and easy. I made some homemade chili. Uh, last night as well. Oh god, that smells good. That smells amazing now. Loads of garlic. That's quite spicy. I've also got that. I can heat that up. And I've got some lawn sausage. When in Scotland, you've got to, haven't you? Lawn sausage with some scotch rolls as well. So I've got an absolute veritable feast here. Uh, so it's, there's some decisions to be made as to what I'm going to have first. But I tell you what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's really cosy in here. And actually, um, I was in two minds about coming because of the weather. But I wanted to test this tent in the rain. It's um, it's the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. And it's got, I think it's 4,000 static head units. Um, so it should be pretty good. And actually, so far, mint. Not a drop has come through. And um, there's zero condensation in here. Absolutely none at all. So uh, I'm chuffed to bits. Um, sleep system wise, um, I've just got a very, very basic foil mat. I've then got the OEX uh, Traverse 3 quarter, uh, self inflating mat. On top of that, I've got the Trekology UL80 uh, inflator, which you saw right at the start there with the, um, the Flex Tail Gear inflator, which is also a light as well, which is great. And then I've got the, um, the Mighty Leviathan, OEX Leviathan 900. And uh, it's comfortable and it's warm and I'll be warm all night as well. Temperature wise tonight, uh, forecast to uh, to get down to one degree. So the gear I've got is going to be perfect for that. No, but no concerns with that at all. Uh, wind speed about 18 mile an hour. Uh, but I am in a little bit of a kind of secluded spot here. Um, I can hear the canopy and the, you know, the trees blown away. And incidentally, when I was looking at this spot as well, I did have a good check around to make sure that there wasn't any widow makers. You've got to make sure, you know, especially in woodlands, in wind, just make sure there's no daft branches or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely great. I'm, I'm looking forward to making some decisions about tea. Uh, and I just wanted to do a quick shout out as well, actually. Um, a good mate of mine, Mountain Mick. How's it going, mate? Um, he's, uh, he, he's, um, he lives with his nana. And his nana watches uh, watches me videos and she enjoys them. So I, I said I would say hello. So hello, Mavis. How are you doing? I hope you're all right. You've got your hands full there looking after Mountain Mick. Believe me, I bet he's pouring a vodka right now, is he? <laughs> I'm pleased you like the videos. There's a shout out. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, so, um, right. Enough, enough, of the, uh, enough of the chatter. Let's get some dinner on the go. Um, so you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see what I, what I make my mind up on. Um, I don't know what to have. <laughs> Let's have a go. Right, let's see what this is like. It's about ready now. Oh, it's 
just gonna warm that. Yeah, it's very, very warm. Right, that's red hot. Let's have a go. Put that in the rubbish bag. Oh, that smells spicy and nice. Mmm. Okay. I don't know why I always do this. Camera cannot focus on it, but let's give it a go. Korean style beef. Hey, that's nice. Mmm, mmm. That's one of the better ones. That's really, really good, actually. Um, ah, there seems to be... Um, there's quite a bit of beef in there. Mmm. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. There's no dessert tonight. I totally forgot about the um, the chocolate pud. The sticky toffee pudding wasn't as good, but I forgot, basically I forgot dessert. Never mind. Never mind. Um... I'm going to enjoy the rest of my dinner. I'm going to have another hot chocolate before I hit the hay. And then what I'll do is in the morning, hopefully um, we're going to be hunkered down. It'll be nice and warm. Listen to some tunes. Um, I've got full reception here. So I might watch something on Netflix. Um, or catch up on some YouTube videos. From some of the guys that I like watching. And when I get up in the morning, I'll um, hopefully the weather's not too bad. Actually, the forecast, I've just looked at it there. For this exact location, it says there's going to be short snow showers. So that could be interesting as well. Mm. So I'll catch up with you in the morning. We'll do breakfast. And uh, I'll show you around where I am as well. Because it's absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, have a nice night. Fantastic. Good morning, folks. Another very comfortable night's sleep. A good solid eight hours there. Um, I only woke up um, once. Uh, there was some kind of animal sniffing about the tent. I could hear it walking around and and uh, and breathing and sniffing. Whether it was a fox or a deer or something, I don't know. But it woke us up. Anyway, it soon cleared off, and I went back to sleep straight away. Otherwise, a very, very comfortable sleep. Oh, it's still pitch black outside. Uh, the forecast was uh, suggesting first thing this morning was going to be uh, sleet. So far, that hasn't happened. Um, but I can hear the wind starting to uh, starting to creep up uh, in the trees. Although, as we stand here at the minute. The tent is undisturbed. Uh, there's no condensation at all. Um, and it's been warm in here and cold outside. So this, this tent really performs very, very well. But what I really want to do is drop the tent, get packed away and get back to the car before the, um, before the real wind comes in. And if there is any sleet, I don't really want to be packing away uh, in the bad weather. So I'm going to um, enjoy my cup of tea. Fant absolutely fantastic oh. Oh. Uh, get back away get back to the car and I think I might cook up some breakfast in the car um, I've got those lone sausages and the scotch rolls I'm looking forward to them uh, I'm really hungry actually this morning which is unusual, I don't usually do breakfast but I am looking forward to that, must be the great outdoors eh? alright, so, um, so that's what we're going to do uh, I'll get uh, I'm absolutely lovely and warm in this sleeping bag and it's absolutely freezing cold outside. This is the hardest part, isn't it? Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we'll get packed away and, uh, and get back to the car for some breakfast. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little while.
Well, that's us all packed away. Uh, it didn't take long, it takes about half an hour. You know, if you're taking your time, you could probably do it a bit quicker. You gotta get a, you gotta have a system. So, we've just got the short walk back to the car and I'm gonna knock up these uh, lawn sausage sandwiches. I'm absolutely starving. There's a scatter in the snow up on the hills over there. And we've got some absolutely beautiful scenery here. Galloway Forest Park. It really doesn't get too much better. This is the jewel of Southern Scotland, really. And I think a lot of people drive past this to get up to the Highlands, but you've really got to stop off and check this place out. Well, that's been an absolutely cracking camp. I've really enjoyed that one. Thanks for joining us, folks. If you've made it this far, well done. <laughs> really, all that's left to say is I hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. Make sure you get out into the wilderness, get a nice reset. Forget about TV, forget about Facebook, forget about Instagram, forget about newspapers. Get out and enjoy a bit of prescription nature. Makes a world of difference. So until next time, folks, I hope to see you on the next Yonder Mountain Adventure. The car's just there. Perfect. <laughs>